Is 7 days enough to build a character in Genja Impact? Well, in this video, I will only focus on ascending the newest 5 star, Linny. Welcome to Linny and Lynette's Magic Show! For the next few days, I have planned out my route on how I want to build my Linny with the limited days I have. I pulled for Linny because I want to reset my pity for when Permanent comes in the second phase, but what I didn't know, Linny was actually super powerful. Paired with his signature weapon, he is overpowered on the battlefield. So I wanted to test that out myself, but before that, I didn't want to miss out on one of the most powerful weapon banners in a while. There's no way you can lose here, right? Like, I don't want to do something with my resin, but also at the same time, I don't want to whale. I can't f*** it, we're running. 560, pretty much a 60 pity. So surely the next temple, right? Whoa, what is this? Whoa, 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 whoa. Thank you so much for your donation. Have fun with Skyward Spine. Okay, listen. Lichy, I feel, I smell the double five star. Watch, watch, watch. I smell it, I smell it. I smell it in this one fucking temple. This is kind of early, so I don't know which one I want, but I want both of them. I don't, I don't mind anything. Just, I just need the two that are on the banner, or else I would not be happy. Aqua, Lini's weapon. I'll take it. I'll take it. Perfect for the Lini video, to be honest. Let's go. That's still a W. That's still a big W. Before we start day one, we need a full team for Linny, and the best team for him at the moment is a mono pirate team for the maximum damage as possible. As for our gear, he has his signature weapon sitting at level 20. Zero artifacts for now, but I want to run the 4 piece Mara Shisei set. Caesar, of course, because I am F2P, and finally, talent levels are at level 1. Is 7 days really enough to build Linny? Well, this is where I have to explain some stuff. You see, I already farmed the Marashise set for a video about spending 2,000 resin on that domain. It was originally to test out the new set in a Hu Tao, but now that I pulled for Lini, it's time to transfer those artifacts. Oh, and I only spent like less than 1k resin on that domain, so technically it's not 7 days building Lini anymore. Well, I guess you just got scammed. <laughs> I only have two sets that were leveled up though, but I do have this insane onset goblet. However, I want the circuit to be crit damage since the 4 piece set gives you a lot of crit rate. I put on a random blizzard flower for now and this is my current setup with the team setup ready and the artifacts equipped let's test out Linny's damage on the new artifact domain Oh, that was kind of expected. Honestly, he was dealing a lot of damage already despite having a level 20 weapon and level 1 talent. So I think we might be able to pull this off. These next few days are gonna be hectic, so stay with me until the end. With that being said, day 1 was a big day, so let's get this thing started. The first task we need to do is to ascend Linny so I took care of the crab boss for his ascension material. I honestly thought this crab was gonna be annoying to farm, but he just kind of sits there and doesn't move. Damn, it feels good to be in an Ayaka main. The next task in our list was something I personally hate. <sighs> Here we go again. I opened up the interactive map and marked out the locations. After a few minutes, it was time to finally harvest, so enjoy this little montage. While collecting the flowers, I got distracted by one of these shiny thingies. After completing a very simple puzzle, I got rewarded with a chest, but when I opened it up, this happened. Oh no, did I trigger a fucking quest? Salsa. I swear Fontaine names are just out of context. Anyways, I continued my flower harvest and did more exploration, but then... Oh fuck yeah, we're back. Hey, at least he gives 20 primos. Way better than getting pummeled by samurais for a common chest. I finally ascended my Linny and quickly leveled him up to level 60. I needed more materials, so I went back to the crab and claimed my bounty. While waiting for the respawn, I collected more flowers and did more exploration without actually getting jump scared by Salsa this time. It's been really fun exploring Fontaine, and I'm actually really enjoying the new region. You know what? Never mind. Oh, we're fucking back here, man. <laughs> Salsa, bro. I came back later that day to do more essential materials. As for a weekly, I thought I had to advance in the Arkham Quest to unlock a new boss, but thankfully what he needed was the Warden in Sumeru. After clearing the Warden, however, I didn't get the right drops. I proceeded to take on Scare instead for a last bit of resin, hoping for Dream Solvents, and thankfully it did drop one. And just like that, the first day of this challenge has now concluded. 
For day two, it was more of a chill day. First task of the day was of course essential materials accompanied with artifact drops. While waiting for the respawn, I was thinking what else I can do to not waste time. But then I remembered I had a lot of condensed resin ready. My original plan was to save them for talent books and weapon books for this challenge, but since they weren't open until the next day, it was time for a run on the artifact domain. I really need a top tier artifact piece in order to make this challenge successful. Crit damage or crit rate subsets would be nice, but not on the wrong set or wrong piece. <laughs> what is this circlet, man? I did another run, but with original resin instead, and got another possible piece, but on the wrong set. Oh, I guess it's time to build Fischl now. <laughs> I continued farming the ascension boss after the artifact run and just sent out my characters for expeditions. Before we end the day off, should appreciate what Hoyoverse gave us with the animated party setup screen. I really love this feature. It's literally so cute and brings the characters more lively. I really love all of them, but my favorites are Eula, Raiden, Ayaka, Hu Tao, Lini, and of course, Shang Ling. But do you know what else we should appreciate? These Japanese snacks straight from Japan. Thanks to Tokyo Treats and Sakura Co, our sponsor for today's video, you can now enjoy Japanese snacks without actually leaving the comfort of your own home. Now you might be wondering, what is Tokyo Treats or Sakura Co? Well, Tokyo Treat is a monthly Japanese snack subscription. You will get to taste the snacks in Japan while you are playing your favorite game. They will send you up to 20 exclusive and limited edition seasonal flavored snacks that are only available in Japan for a limited time. You will get to experience out of this world flavors like Sakura flavored Pepsi, Japanese sake Kit Kats, different types of Ramen, and of course many more. Sakuraku on the other hand is similar but with local Japanese snacks. You will enjoy up to 20 traditional and authentic Japanese snacks including Japanese teas and a special Japanese tableware that you can flex to your friends. And of course in every box there is a handbook where you would see what the snack is about if you don't understand it from uh, from the package. For every month that you have subscribed, you will have different teams in every box. Like for the one I received this month, the team is Chikimi or Moon Viewing Festival. My box is filled with Chikimi designed snack boxes to enjoy with either your family, friends, if you have any, while viewing the moon together. If not, then you can just simply enjoy your snacks at home while playing your favorite game or even better while watching my videos. Well, what are you waiting for? Try these snacks yourself by getting your own box or getting it as a gift for your loved ones. Go ahead and check my description or the top pinned comment to use my link or simply use code FRAPPLE at checkout to get $5 off your first order on either Tokyo Tree or Sakura Co. Again, thank you so much for Tokyo Tree and Sakura Co for sponsoring today's video and let's get back into day 3. The big day of this challenge has arrived. Weapon and talent domains has opened up and we need a lot of them. We need the guaranteed upgrade so we will start off with the weapon books. After burning 4 condensed stars in that domain, it was time to level up our weapon. I got to level 40 before running out of the tainted water drops, so for FTP players, I would recommend closing your eyes for a brief moment. I crafted the green ones to the blue ones and I now have a level 60 weapon. The next task for today was sound books, so I condensed the rest of the resin, used one of my transit resins to have 4 condensed in total. After burning yet another 4 condensed resin, I leveled up my talents and ending part 1 of today with 4 4 tree talents. Since I was out of resin, I harvested more flowers, crafted more prior chunks, and got my lineage ascended to level 70. I came back later that evening to buy more tainted waters. <coughs> I mean farm more tainted waters and also farm more talent books. I condensed my resin and went straight to the domain. I burned a total of 120 resin this evening to level up my charge attack to level 6. I then crafted more green ones to the blue ones and at the end of day 3, my talent levels were 6 5 3 and my weapon was level 60. The next day has arrived and it was time to finish Lenny's ascension. But before that, I did some of my commissions, claimed my daily reward and I went for the last ascension run for this challenge. I'm gonna keep him at level 80 for now just cause I only have 3 days worth of resin love and I still have to spend them on weapon books, town books, and most importantly some artifacts. I claimed my last bounty, crafted more fire gems for the blue ones to the purple ones, and finally ascended my lineage to level 80. I then condensed the rest of the resin today and saved it for a big artifact run tomorrow. Oh, it's me! Well, uh, yeah, um, so for day, what day is it today? I don't even know. Well, for day five of building Lini, I wanted to kind of record this in a way, like actual like in-game commentary stuff. This was meant to be a stream, but I kind of 
got lazy and I didn't want to stream today. So here we're recording instead. What we want to do today is use our condensed resin. I want to do artifacts today and my resin is almost capped. So I will condense twice and then we'll use the rest of the 70 resin for tomorrow since tomorrow is Sunday. So for today, we have a total of five condensed resin and then we'll use this one probably in the last day because we'll get another one on Monday. We'll use both of them on that day for more artifacts at least. All right, let's get started. Yeah, first claim of the day. Let's see if we're lucky off stream or we're more lucky on stream. Because honestly, on stream, I get a lot of streamer luck, but off stream luck is kind of insane too. Like, look at this feather. <laughs> Second claim of the day attack sands and crit damage circlet. That's all I need, please. Circlets? What the fuck are those? I mean, it is an attack sands. Ah, well, three more to go. <laughs> Can't wait to be disappointed today. All right, Izzy, clear that and uh, claim our third bounty for the day. All right, what do we got? Come on, crit damage circlet. Ah, wait, there's two of them. Okay, wait, what is this? Is this a goblet? Okay, crit damage. Oh my god, dude, I need crit damage. Okay, okay, okay. Ah, uh, okay. Ah, uh, fuck. I've never been this so unhappy to get that type of fucking circlet. What? Oh my god. Because this set already gives like so much crit rate, especially for Linny. Okay, fourth claim. Come on, crit damage circlet. That's all I ask. You don't even have to give me the crit rate substat. Just the crit, crit damage means that. It's a fucking goblet. Oh! <laughs> Wait, it's official or yai piece. Nah, that's it, bro. After the, after today, I'm not streaming my, my artifact runs anymore. Dude, my luck off stream is actually more insane than on stream. Oh, yeah, bye. Okay. All right, what do I do? Do I just feed them? This double HP attack, though. If the plus four is HP, this is a uh, big W. I have no choice but to feed the other one. I don't care. Come on, HP. Oh, yeah, but it's flat HP, though. I'm gonna ask my Discord what do they think if it's worth... If this doesn't roll crit damage, I would be so sad. Okay, hold on. This guy said all in and ER. Okay, ready. If this goes all ER, I know you're not listening to this. You might be listening to this when the video comes out. If everything goes to, to ER, I will literally unmod you, ban you everywhere in every social I have. You got that? All right. Come on. Come on. Crit damage. Please. I fucking hate this game. I actually, I truly hate this game so fucking much. I put on in. Okay, 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 okay. So listen, listen, listen. This piece is still savable if everything here goes to crit damage. Nice. Crit damage. Yes. That's max roll, right? 7, 8, 8, 16. It's not. Almost max roll. Oh my god! I still believe. Come on, I need the feather anyways. Come on. Yes. Thank you. I mean, at least it's not bad. Alright, we're good, we're good. Alright, we have a decent feather. That's nice at least. Sans, I have to level it up. Okay, let's see this. So I'll just do it to level 4. That's not bad, actually. We'll go level 8. This game sucks. Great damage, I level you up. <laughs> this game sucks ass bro oh my god yeah i'm gonna stop feeding my pieces next time but here's some wise words i've always heard a life without risk is too boring only those who risk going too far can possibly find out how far they can go <laughs> anyways at the end of day five i condensed the rest of the resin for today and saved it for a big day tomorrow the second to the last day is here and thankfully today is sunday you already know what that means so let's just get this thing started i have four condensed resin to start this morning and our main goal is to level up our towns so while we farm some town books you guys already know i would like to ask you guys to like the video if you are enjoying or maybe even consider subscribing these videos take a lot of time to make and to see you guys liking and subscribing genuinely makes me happy comment down below who i should build next and i shall consider if i am able to again thank you so much for the support lately and uh hopefully i actually get 10k subs at the end of the year it's always been a dream of mine as a kid so making that a reality would really mean a lot anyways back to the video after burning yet another 240 resin i crafted the green books to the blue books and converted some weekly drops to the ones i need at the end of part one i was able to get my talent levels to 766 i was back later that evening to level up my weapon my first task that night was to farm these tainted water drops which is kind of messed up since weren't they our friends back in 3.8 anyways after suffering a few minutes
minutes, I managed to get my weapon to level 70, and it was time to farm more weapon books, so I used one of my last transit resins to get yet another 4 condensed resin runs. I speed ran the domain once again to finally get my weapon to level 80. I still had a few resin left, so I used it on the town book domains and thankfully got my charge attack to level 8. So at the end of day 6, my talents are now level 866 with an almost maxed out weapon. Today is the final day. What we need to complete our Lenny top tier sands that has like four stats and they'll like max crit damage then everything goes to crit damage i feel like my sands will be the only saving grace of this challenge and maybe i'll replace it with like flower with someone we have five condensed and then one transit so i really hope we can do this crit damage crit rate attack percentage probably er Oh my god, okay, this is not a good sight. Come on, like what I said before, I need the four subs that I just mentioned. <laughs> Fuck, bro, give me fucking set. Oh, this is not on the right set. Come on, last condense of the challenge. Give us something, please. Oi. Bro, there's no shot, man. God damn. Come on, I believe. Fuck. Please, please, double. Give me double five stars. Oh, okay. Good damage. <laughs> it's on the wrong side. <laughs> Come on, last run. Please, just. Me hoyo, me hoyo, me hoyo. I literally get C6 Arlichino or C6 Florin if you give me a crit damage circuit with create on it on the, on the right set, please, yeah? Good on set flower, please. I bleat. I guess it's time to play with our uh, with our artifacts. How am I supposed to do this? All right, so I think we'll settle with this for now. So we have a few rolls I could do, I think, right? I don't have any other attack ones. Okay, okay, this has to roll good. Everything go crit damage, please, please. Come on, come on. I believe, I believe, I believe. I was once a believer and I am once again with this piece right here. Boom, fuck. Yes. Not max, but I'll take that. I'll actually take that. Thank you. Okay, last one. Crit damage, prayage, crit damage. No! I gotta cope very much. So I'm gonna try and get an onset flower. Let's feed this one. Wait, no, maybe not that one. This one. Yeah, this one. Fuck it. I don't know. It doesn't have crit damage anyways. Crit damage. I ah, yeah, okay. All right. Keep on believing. We have two more. It's one roll to crit damage. That's all it takes. One kiss is all it takes. Fuck, it's the same fucking subset. Please don't let this video be a fail. Crit damage. Ah, puta. Try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me Looking for change, looking for pain Pulling a mob, pushing a train I'll never stop, stick to a lane Pick up the pieces and go rearrange yeah. I'll be the best above all the rest, put me to the test and Expect nothing less, you check as I'm chess, what's happening next? Yeah. He got the venom, a tangible weapon, no coming in second, this life is a lesson He got a new engine from pain, it's a blessing, new focus, no guessing, just bold an obsession All in his possession, you got the retention, I'll leave an impression and take your redemption Just kill no discretion, your mind is a weapon, 11-11, it's time for progression, oh! You could try to play, but you're never gonna beat me Look the other way, what I'm doing ain't easy Bloody hands stain from the people who deceive me Bloody hands break through the chains, go free me like sheep, both feet hurt it easy You don't wanna be fast asleep when you see me Let us stand tall, ready for a fight, believe me When they try the chains, you can say no free and that's pretty much it <laughs> i'll put on screen right now the final artifact stats for you guys to check out and yeah that's my lindy build i'm sorry it took this long to come out i had to like rearrange my schedule a lot to finally getting this finished so uh i hope you guys enjoyed maybe i'll do more of these like 70 challenges they're kind of fun to narrate since it's only like seven recordings compared to like the 20 plus recordings for the 20 challenges uh so yeah i'll probably do more of these what do you guys think Thanks so much for watching, and of course, thank you again to Sakurako and Tokyo Treat for being my first ever sponsor. Uh, don't forget to use my code TRAPPLE, and also if you order right now, uh, you will get the same box as you saw in the video. Thank you again for watching, and uh, I'll see you guys next time.